judging based on the title and the thumbnail, I'm sure you know what this video is about. We're picking up another Tiburon. We have a five and a half hour trip. It's gonna be a long journey. I'm committed to seeing this build through all the way to the end. And it looks like there's my trusty steed. And away we go. Okay, so we're two minutes out from seeing the car. I'm not going to put the video camera right in the guy's face when I get out of the car, because I don't like doing that. So we'll see how the deal goes. And if you see me next, that means we got the car. Wish me luck. There it is. Well guys, we bought the car and currently driving it home. And as you can hear in the background, I'm sure it has a cat back exhaust that is loud. It is quite loud and the drone is gonna be real on the way home on the highway, that is for sure. Downshift in the fifth, <laughs> fourth. Okay, well, here she is. She's not perfect. I'm gonna do a little bit more of an in-depth video when we get home, but we're on the road. We're just gonna get the heck out of here, but very excited. Stay tuned. All right, well, we have another Tiburon in the driveway. Getting this car here was actually really difficult. There was a lot of hiccups along the way, but nonetheless, we have the car here. We had to drive five and a half hours all the way to Maryland. I live in New York, so it was quite a long drive. Not only that, we had a hiccup with rental cars. We also almost got pulled over twice by law enforcement. So luckily that didn't happen. I'm not even gonna talk about it because what I did is not the best thing to do. But again, nonetheless, we have another Tiburon sitting in the driveway. So I know that there's probably a lot of questions of what we're actually gonna be doing with this car and why I purchased it. And that's what we're gonna go ahead and go over now. I'm gonna do a little overview on why I bought this, the parts that I'm gonna be using, and then future plans for this Tiburon in particular, because I'm sure that there might be a few people out there that might actually be interested in this car. So a couple of things, first things first, let's go over the obvious, the cosmetics here, which is actually really the Big thing that we're going to be taking off this car is just the cosmetics you can see that we have a body kit on here not just a body kit it is the start of a wide body kit we are missing the fender flares but don't worry those are already ordered and on their way so that we can finish the complete body kit this right here is a poison body kit by duraflex it wasn't actually my first choice for a body kit however they don't sell wide bodies for the tiburon anymore well, I digress. I'm going to get a lot of people out there that actually say, yes, they do. You can go on to Scotty Customs and everything else. Well, without paying an arm and a leg and also waiting six months to a year for shipping, this was the wide body kit that I chose to go with. Now, please bear with me because there's a lot to this story and why I actually bought this car. The whole purpose of me doing this Tiburon build was to get into the car scene and learn as much as I could about cars without breaking the bank. I would love to go out and buy a super expensive car you know, spend 10, 15, $20,000 on a car. But I don't, I, I didn't know anything about building cars when I got into this. I was always interested, but I didn't really know how to get into it. Not only that, again, I wanted to do it on a budget. I didn't want to spend a lot of money, especially in today's market, um, just having a fun weekend car. If I wanted to go out and buy this kit brand new right now, I'd have to pay about $2,000, 15, 
$1,500, $2,000, somewhere around that range, plus shipping. So I was going to pay an arm and a leg. And I'm planning on doing all the work myself, but if someone wanted to have a professional install and paint their kit, I mean, you're looking at a pretty penny just to have a kit installed on a Tiburon. I never wanted to spend a lot of money on this car. I wanted to have fun with it, use it as a learning experience, and have something that I could uh, look twice at when I'm walking into a grocery store and turn around and look and say, man, that's my car and I built it. So nonetheless, long story short, I was able to find this Tiburon for a really good deal, had the start of the kit, almost the entire thing. So essentially what my plans are is to take everything off of this car that I need for my build and then resell this car. So anyway, you'll see that the rest of the kit is in pretty decent shape. I'm not really, really worried about the cracks and dings and dents and everything because, hey, let's be honest, when you order something online anyway, as far as body kits go, that's something that's going to happen anyway during delivery and transport. So I was expecting to have to do this no matter what kit I got. So I'm going to be fixing the body kit and then also painting it to match my car. So that's the biggest obvious one is the body kit. I always wanted a wide body of car. It's uh, been a big goal of mine and I pretty much have everything I need in order to make that happen now. Just have to maybe get some wheel spacers, maybe some bigger tires. But regardless, once this kit is on there, this car is gonna be looking phenomenal. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a concept on the screen. That way you can see what my end vision is. And I think it's gonna look insane. Moving on to the front of the car, I wanted to get some facelift headlights and this car happened to have them. Not only that, they have some halo LEDs. They just need to be uh, replaced. And we also have some eyelids, which look amazing. So I was really excited about that as well. So not only did I get the updated facelift headlights, but I also got the eyelids to match and that's gonna look phenomenal. It's gonna look really aggressive. I'm really excited about that. Another thing that we're gonna be taking off is these taillights. I wanted to do something with my taillights. I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do. A lot of people just open up the lenses and do something custom, but I wasn't really too sure if I wanted to do that. So what I'm gonna do is take these off, go ahead and throw them on mine. So as you can see, we literally have everything that we need in order to finish the build now. I have some other stuff that I haven't even showed you guys yet, but since we're doing this video, I think we might also show you what else I got in store. Hold on a second. There may or may not be headers in here to match my OBX cat back exhaust. Yep. So we have not only another Tiburon here in the driveway, we have headers, we have a supercharger in the shed, and here we have a whole nother body kit which actually came with this car. This is a Duraflex Vader body kit. Now that's actually my least favorite body kit for this car but I got it with the car, which is great because I'm going to be taking this stuff off. So I'll have something to put back on. That way I can keep the OEM bumpers and everything else. <sighs> Merry Christmas to me. Last thing I'll say about this Tiburon right here is if anyone is interested in buying a Tiburon, please let me know because this will be for sale. It is going to have the OEM headlights, the OEM taillights, and then it's also going to come with the Vader Duraflex body kit, which is the front bumper, the side skirts, and the rear bumper. Shoot me a message or an email if you're interested. I'm very excited. We have a lot of content that we're going to be making over the next couple months, probably the next year or so, because I got a lot going on. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and get this build done. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next build video.